Hey guys, this is Kenyatta Robinson. Welcome back to the Backyard Smoke Master channel. Today, I'm going to season my brand new Camp Chef 4 burner flat top griddle. So I picked this up a few days ago. I got it put together. It took about an hour. I went kind of slow. I was actually using another YouTube video to kind of help guide me through the process probably would go a lot easier if I had someone to help me but as a one-person job it's about an hour you could probably do it in about 45 minutes so like I said this is the four burner model the propane tank goes over here on the right side and over here you can see there's a hook for your propane tank and then it rests I don't even know what you call that but on that little uh, attachment there on the bottom shelf And there's the little, uh, the little hose attachment as well. Pretty straightforward. You've got the uh, grease capture here at the front. And then you have a cup here where the grease will drain off into this little hole into the cup the cup can slide off there's also another cup here at the bottom um, right above the top shelf I don't know if you guys can see that But that cup right there is also removable so you can pour out your your grease so the camp chef comes with two shelves at the bottom and then you've also got a shelf on the left rather this is the right a shelf on the right side as well as the left side all right so i'm going to hook up the propane tank and uh, go through the process of doing kind of like an initial burn in initial seasoning even though the camp chef comes pre-seasoned i still want to still want to you know clean up a little bit burn off some of the factory oils and things um, that may have come with it during the shipping process and um, also get some oil on it as well so I'm gonna do a little bit more than just start cooking right on it so basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to follow kind of a combination of Camp Chef's recommended guidelines for caring for your griddle top along with some tips that I'm getting from this book uh, that I uh, downloaded from Amazon, the Flippin' Awesome Backyard Griddle Cookbook. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll, um, I'll leave the, the name of the, the book and the author in the notes for this video. But I'm trying to kind of mirror those two processes together so the flipping awesome griddle book says uh, before you ignite your griddle for the first time give it a quick wipe down with soap and water even if it looks clean be sure to rinse well so i did that all right so i'm going to turn all my burners to medium
Okay, I'm starting to finally hear a little bit of a roar going. And I do feel a little bit of heat picking up. So it's interesting, I can definitely feel like there's more heat coming up from the sides. And this is my first experience with the flat top griddle. So I really have no concept of what to expect here. But I am starting to feel some heat above the middle two burners. So, all right, I'm going to give this a little bit of time and then I will put my, I'll pour a cup of water over the top and follow that first step from the book. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add this cup of water. So hopefully this will help with the process of getting rid of those manufactured oils that are still left behind. So the camp shaft also comes with levelers that I believe are located on the bottom of the left side. So I may need to make some adjustments as I go here to, to get the griddle more level. All right, so I've turned the burners off. Uh, according to the book, the flipping Amazing Griddle Book, it says to then let the griddle cool off for about 10 minutes and then add a few teaspoons of oil. The camp chef recommends their own cast iron conditioner so i picked up a couple of bottles of this it's available on amazon i think it was about twelve dollars and let's see ingredients organic palm oil organic coconut coconut oil organic sunflower seed oil vitamin e and citric acid Alright guys, so I've had the burners on now, maybe about five minutes, medium low heat. So I went and got my infrared and checked some of these temperatures. So 301, 311, 311, 311, 311, 311. 282, 282, 234, 234, 235, 248, 189, 157. So, a little interesting. I mean, pretty uniform across I'd say two-thirds of the griddle and maybe a little bit cooler definitely in this corner so I'm not quite sure 163 258 207 
250, 250, 299. So not quite sure what that's about. Maybe some of you guys know a little better what type of temperatures you usually get across the uh, flat top. Now it is a little bit breezy today. It's probably about 55 degrees outside. So, I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead, let this burn, try and get this uh, grease to burn off. I'm expecting it to take about 20 minutes, and then I'll figure out what my next step is. All right, guys, so I've still got smoke coming off of the griddle, so I'm going to continue to let that oil burn off until the, the smoke completely dissipates. But the amazing, the flipping amazing griddle book says that basically after your first seasoning, you'll typically see a pattern or something that kind of follows along the lines of the, of the burners. And I can clearly see with each burner as well as in between where the burners are located, um, these little circular shapes um kind of like a tic-tac-toe board uh three up and what is that six across 418 418 421 421 512 380 378 471, 431, let me check this corner, 431, 431, here's my favorite one, this lower, lower corner in the front, 226, so clearly this is a cool spot, right over here, this front corner. So I have to utilize that knowledge when I start cooking. One of the advantages, advantages of using a griddle top with multiple burners is you can set up two zone cooking and I can quickly see that I would probably use the left side of my griddle as a hot zone then what you would typically do is turn off the two burners on the right use that as the cool side and this side especially this front corner is already um, naturally cooler than the rest so that only makes sense to utilize that right side as my cool zone so one of my major concerns about buying the griddle was you know in rainy conditions how do you keep water off of your griddle top and keeping it from rusting because i've heard stories of of that happening to people where their griddles end up getting rusted um on amazingribs.com they have a an outstanding forum for barbecue enthusiasts and i posed that question on the forum and someone tipped me to this cover. It's, it's stainless steel. It's made from stainless steel type 304. And it's specific for the Camp Chef FTG600. So that's the actual model number for this four burner flat top. And on Etsy.com, if you search for Camp Chef 600 griddle cover, a company called Outdoor Kitchen Equip, they will make this cover for you on order. And it was $105 including shipping. It probably took about two and a half weeks. I think they typically are able to ship a little bit faster, uh, but the owner I had contacted the owner who was very responsive and he said they were having an equipment issue during that time 
um, but you know true to his word I, I got it exactly you know within the time frame that he promised so again this thing is made from uh, stainless steel and it completely covers the flat top and it will keep your flat top from getting wet in rainy conditions you know and it's not that heavy easy to lift so I do recommend it you know if, if you're in the in the market for a flat top uh, griddle like the camp chef I don't know if they make one for Blackstone. I, I'd imagine if if they don't, there's probably someone out there that does make something similar. You know, I would I would highly recommend um, picking up something like this to protect your your flat top. I said I've had my camp chef now for a little bit more than a month and I gotta say I have no regrets about this purchase uh, I use it probably every other day mostly for breakfast it's just so easy to put together some eggs chorizo uh, you know you can saute some onions bell peppers all of that really fast really convenient cleanup is easy um, and this is really what I had in mind for it as something that I would use uh, for making breakfast I made uh, pancakes on it for the first time uh, over the weekend that was super easy so I have no regrets the key is really just to uh, you know keep it clean keep it seasoned you know after you use it put some uh, some oil on it right now I'm using avocado oil you know just put some of that on smear it across the top with a paper towel you know keep your flat top seasoned so there it is this is the camp chef flat top griddle four burner model the specific model number is FTG 600 if you have any questions or comments I'd love to hear from you feel free to like subscribe share as I am trying to actively grow my channel so I do appreciate all of the support this is Kenyatta Robinson take care and I'll see you again soon